Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Minrise Beach series. So I'm going to be planning in my EC hourly for the upcoming week. I'm going to be using a kit from my shop. It's called Geneva Floral and as you guys can see, I've actually used this kit. These are the leftovers from my memory plan with me. So that is a video that is going to be coming up, but I have used the full six page kit in my memory plan with me. And then what I've discovered is that I can use the leftovers to plan my upcoming weeks. In my hourly, it's just enough stickers for me to plan functionally. So I love that I'm able to use all the stickers up in my kits. It means I don't have as many leftovers and I can really stretch it out. So I love that. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using these Simply Gilded washi tapes. Um, these are from the Galaxy collection. I really love them. I think the colors are just so beautiful and I love the silver hollow. This one actually has a little bit of pink in it too. So I have to decide which one I wanna use. I know that I'll be using this one here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this here. For me, when it comes to planning, I really love to use stickers and washi tape. Those are the two kind of essentials, I guess you can say for me. I've always kind of been this way. So I really love to collect washi and match them up to the kits that I use. So I'm just adding the stardust there. You can probably see the beautiful foiling on that. And then I'm gonna do the same here at the top. So keeping it pretty simple. Um, this is a functional planner, it's my shop planner. So I don't wanna go too crazy with the deco. I really like to have it looking clean in this planner. So there we go. Just enough here at the top and bottom to make it cute. Now let's start to build up the sidebar. I'm gonna be using these checklists here to help me keep track of the new releases that are going to be coming to the shop. So I'm going to go back to that page here um, that says important. So this is one of the header stickers that has the cute scallop. So I love to use that. And then we'll grab another one. And this one I will be using this week one. So again, we'll grab that from here and pop that down. So there we go. And I'm gonna be using the two habit trackers. I use these to track both Shopify and Etsy. So those are the two shops that I currently have. And if you guys are interested in any of the stickers from my shop, feel free to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. And then I think I'm gonna use the weekly tracker here at the very top to keep track of my YouTube. So let's get started with filling this out now. So for YouTube, every Monday I do have new releases in my shop. So I will put everything up on my Shopify website, my main shop, and then I will eventually put it in the Etsy shop. That's just how I like to do it. And then on Tuesday, I am gonna be posting this plan with me that you're watching right now. I post all of my functional spreads on the Tuesday. And currently I don't actually have anything else scheduled other than a memory plan with me that is gonna go up on Sunday. Um, I think I will be posting my A5 Daily Duo um, monthly setup, but I haven't quite done that yet. So I'm not going to put that in just yet. I am gonna fill in this part though for Etsy and Shopify. And then in terms of new releases this week, we have a ton of new releases. So we have new Hobonichi Cousin Kits, which you guys really seem to love. Um, a lot of you guys have been purchasing every single one of them. So that makes me so happy. Um, that's why I released a few more. So we have the fairy tale kit, which is a beautiful kind of pastel lace one. 
Um, we also have the Devine Floral, so another addition to the floral collection, and then also Indie Floral. So we have kind of two colorways for the florals this week. We have a cool tone one with lots of burgundies, yellows, and oranges. It's very fall-like. And then we have Devine Floral, which is much more cool tone. So you have like the mauves and the deep purples. So um, there's something for everyone. And then for this week, we have a brand new style of stickers. These are the journaling stickers. And these are smaller stickers. They're going to be on the quarter sheets as opposed to like a full page kit. And you can pretty much mix and match with the deco sheets in my shop. A lot of you guys have been purchasing the deco sheets to decorate your Hobonichis and your Stalogies or other bullet journals. So um, I created these journaling style stickers so that you can kind of mix and match and create your own. We have some grid ripped washi in two different colors. We have watercolor circles, washi strips, cute little memos. So there's a lot to choose from. So I've just written down the releases down here. I'm actually going to be putting another checklist box towards the end of this day so that I can actually continue it because for the journaling stickers I did release quite a few of them so I just want to keep track of that. Um, but let's move on to Monday now. So starting with Monday, I do have Payday, so I'm going to grab the Payday script, which is on this page right here. Actually, it's not really a script. It's more of a header, so I just like to keep that there at the top. I know that it's Payday now, and it's not in the way. I'm also going to mark down new releases, so that usually goes up at 9 in the main shop. So I've marked that down. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be writing this week. It depends on how much I can get done this week. Um, so I am just going to leave a couple of hours there for myself in case I don't get to finish everything that I want to. And we're going to go to the post office in the afternoon like I typically do to ship out your orders. And then I do have to go shopping after that. So I'm gonna pop down one of these, these scallop corners just to mark that down. So that is everything for Monday that I want to do. Tuesday, I do have an event. So let's mark that down first at the top. Now I'm out of the scallop stickers that I typically like to use. So I'm gonna be using this one instead. So I'm gonna mark down that I have two books on sale, one and only, and The Real Thing. And actually, for The Real Thing, this is the very first time it's on sale. This is my latest book. So it's the first time that it's actually going on sale this day. So I do wanna mark that down. And then actually, I do want to film in the afternoon. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna use one of these or if I wanna use um, the checklist flags instead. I think it might be nice to use the flags. I haven't really used it. So let's go ahead and try that. Now typically I don't put these kind of checklists in my hourly, but it's something that I've been trying out. So I'm going to grab the to-do script and I'm going to use this to mark down all the videos that I want to film this day. I think that will be helpful. So I'm just going to write film here and then we'll mark down the videos. Um, I have been enjoying waking up early in the morning to edit my videos. So whatever I film on these days, I have been editing at 6 a.m. in the morning. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I find that if I try to do it sometime during the day, there's a lot more distractions, you know, there's my family who's always constantly calling me, there's my dog barking, and it's hard for me to hear myself. And so I think it's just better if I get up early in the morning to do it instead. So that's what I've been trying to do. 
So we're gonna try it again this week. Hopefully it works out and I can get all my videos done. But that's everything for Wednesday. For Thursday, I do have another event. So I'm gonna mark that in at the very top here. That is the first thing that I'm gonna be doing when I get up. Once again, I will probably be finishing up my editing. So let's use another one of these page flags that are from the kit. And then I do need to visit my mother. So let's mark that down for 11. And that will take up pretty much the rest of my morning. And then I will be just working for the rest of the day. So Friday, I actually don't have anything planned, which is quite nice. Um, I'm gonna leave that blank. We're gonna move on to Saturday. Um, I do have a couple of things that I need to do. So at nine is another filming day. I just filmed my memory spread this day. So I'm gonna mark that down. And then at 11.30, um, I do have something to do. So I'm just gonna mark have fun in there. So that will mark off what I need to do on that day. And then on Sunday is typically the day where I work on printing and cutting the new releases that will be coming out the following week. So I'm gonna mark that down here with a flag. And then I also want to complete listings. So just making sure that all of the listings are up in the main shop. So that is what it's looking like so far. I'm just going to write in what I can right now and then I will be right back. So this is my pre-plan for the upcoming week. As the week goes on, I will be continuing to fill this out as this is an hourly planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you guys are interested in the sticker kits from my shop, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10%. If you guys are in the other Erin Condren planners, I do have specific planner kits for those as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, have a nice day.